Hi, and welcome to More Please. I'm your host, Steve Morrow. And today we're checking out the African Grill on Clyde. What I love with this place is it's a mix of African street food with a little twist of Canadian in it. So let's go in and see what's going on. All right, everybody, we're inside the African Grill with Queely, the owner. Uh, Queely, they call you K sometimes, though, right? Yes. It's a little easier? Yeah, perfect. Totally um, now, this is African food, and you call it the African Grill, but what kind of African food is this? Oh, okay, uh, good question. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's actually a street, uh, street food. Okay. Uh, um, so we do two types of, uh, of uh, uh, grilled foods from Africa from the west part of Africa, which is the suya, okay. and the southern part of Africa, which is the braai. Mm. So both of these uh, cuisines are normally made on the streets. So we kind of brought whatever authentic food was on the streets of Africa. And brought it indoors. Brought it indoors. Okay. So that, that had to take time. We put a bit of tweak to it to just accommodate whatever is done on the streets inside and for sure to follow Canadian, uh, Canadian rules. Yeah, which know, makes yeah, sense. Yeah. And then so what is this behind us for the, your decor? You're so this this is actually one of the uh, one of the uh, the symbols from a country called Lesotho in the southern part of Africa. Okay. Yeah. Um. It's it's actually it symbolizes a mountain called Kiruani. I know it's going to be hard for you. Okay. Uh, so it's it's on their flag, right? Oh, so okay. they they use this symbol everywhere. That's why you will see a lot of a lot of hats. So just seeing this, you knowing the southern part of Africa, this represents the southern part. Ah. Oh, so yeah, you know yeah, it's so like good African street yes, food. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's so kind of a symbol of that area yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's and fantastic. it represents the hat. So what we do is we're seeing we are cooking inside the house so we brought like African houses which are like thatched houses yeah brought it so we are cooking our in kitchen the, in is, the kitchen is yeah, the yeah. House so where it's, it's, we're in Africa right oh, now. and ties together the street food that's yes. genius yeah, I love yeah. it and it's you were saying because you have two different types of food some from the north and sorry sorry from the west some from the south yeah your flavors are going to be a little different because we're you we're have different. both flavors yeah or both parts both regions there we go yeah yeah oh, so we we're, we're different uh, the the southern part of uh, of Africa it's more Europeanized if I can say that mm -hmm. so they tend to go more with like European style like our chicken is finished with like peri Portuguese peri peri sauce okay. which is what like uh, the native South Africans and the Dutch got together mix their spices and make their food that's how and they that make their food that became that, that became that region you brought food. that here then so I we can that experience inside. that also yes. Yes. oh I'm excited yes. I yeah, cannot yeah. wait to get into the kitchen and yeah. see how a lot of this is made let's Amazing. head into the kitchen all right perfect now um, with Kay and we're gonna make what are suya yeah we're making okay. suya what yeah. is suya so suya uh, this is uh, this is actually the uh, the spice the yaji uh, spice so this spice is uh, from the um, from the west part of, uh, of Africa okay. mainly Nigeria from the northern part of Nigeria uh, from uh, uh, the Hausa tribe right interesting they uh, they use this spice it has a base of of, of a peanut type of peanut called kule kule it's oh, like a small peanut okay. so they will roast it grind it uh, add uh, uh, hot peppers into it and some secret ingredients that i cannot uh, uh, share with Fair you enough. i'm sorry Fair yeah, enough. Yeah. yeah so it's it's a bunch of uh, spices in here uh, that brings uh, the flavor okay. but mainly mainly is is the peanut the base is the peanut the so that's what the, the base is that's, okay. yeah so that's where that, uh, well, that's it starts really yeah, yeah. Good. that's gonna yeah, be yeah. nice but, and what kind of meat are you using for this uh, we use the inside round okay. of, uh, of the beef for the tenderness of uh, of the meat and you right? slice it nice and thin then we slice that. it uh, nice and uh, nice and thin right so the house are people that call the aboki men they will use their sharp knives that the knives are very sharp mm -hmm. But here in Canada, we don't use uh, knives. We use a special machine that we go to uh, to slice our, our and meat. And it yeah, yeah. that nice yeah, thin, that, uh, yes. texture consistency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. So, so what are we, we doing will, the steps here? Then we will take uh, the meat. We will dip it in a spice, kind of like cover the whole thing. Then I will hold the piece, tap it four times. One, two, three, four. And that just right? shakes all the excess That off. shakes okay. all the excess. And that makes sure that uh, every piece of meat is marinated properly it's marinated it's even the other one is not marinated less the other one is not marinated less okay. that's why we go through those steps then we'll take this piece of meat uh, put it in uh, in a bucket right okay. to store it in a cool place 
um, it cannot be served if it's if it's not been marinated for six hours. Then now we'll take it, we'll put it on the grill, wait for some minutes. There's a trick when we know when to turn it, when not to turn it. Fair then after we uh, after we do that uh, that part, then we'll take it, put it uh, on the chopping board, chop okay. it into uh, smaller pieces. Ah, okay. Bring it back, finish it off with the same uh, suya spice. But now at that time it's it's mixed with the finishing touch. Okay. So just uh, just to make sure that uh, it's tender. Okay. And how yeah. do you put the, like let's say I'm it's a street food. Yes. So is that served in a cup or is it served in good a plate? Question. Or so, how is that good question. So good question. So on the streets it's served on uh, on the newspaper. Okay. Yeah. So we'll take uh, a newspaper and then uh, after after it's finished we'll wrap it. Put uh, the aji pepper that uh, I, I told you guys about, mm -hmm. and then people will eat it from there. You know, yeah. so they can sit on the side of the of the road, or they can uh, take it home. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah. So at, at 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 this point now, as we see, our meat has been there for like a few minutes. We will turn it, right? Oh, that then looks you see that, so uh, good. Nice, uh, nice uh, 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 texture. Then once once it's nicely uh, done like this, I'll bring it to my uh, to my board, hold with the uh, with the tongs. Cut it up. So, so chunks that like this. Really good. Yeah, I'm going then, in for a little bit of a smell here. So. Yeah. Oh, you really smell the peanuts yes. too, but it's not yes. overpowering. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. So now we'll bring it back to the grill, right? Yeah. Now this this is still the same yaji pepe, but now we added some in, uh, ingredients. Remember, I said we are in Canada. Mm -hmm. We couldn't we couldn't put it like too too spicy. Okay. But like the, the native way, it has to be spicy, right? Yeah, So I removed the spicy. This is uh, the yaji pepper that I came up with. Uh, it doesn't have uh, a, a spice. The other, I have two of them. The other one is spicy, the other one is not. So this one is for Canadians, oh, okay. right? So, and this is, you make this blend here? Yes. So that's this, your special yeah, yeah. blend. Uh, yeah, so yeah, okay. we, we make the, uh, this uh, blend here. Uh, this particular one, but the original one, we ship it from Africa, so oh, every okay. every two months we have spice coming. You get another batch another batch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. so that we can stay with the consistency. We have a family back home that does that, oh, so we bring yeah. it here. Yeah. So this is original African spice. This is original, spice. yeah, yeah. So it's that not was made no, with no, okay. no, yeah. So oh, that's, yeah, yeah. Then that's why you guys are so busy. Yeah. yeah. So we will turn it right. All so right. A little more spice, perfect. Yeah. Looks delicious. Yeah. Oh, God, I can smell that spice in yeah. here. Then we will uh, finish it up with. Uh, with so some, you put some uh, raw some, onion. Yeah, some raw. Now onions. it all has to be uh, red onion. Is yes. That, you yeah, yeah. Okay. It goes. Yeah, it goes good with uh, with the red onions. Okay. And yeah. this is then this is the uh, the yaji pepper. So this, this is, is the, the hot the, stuff. I'm gonna yeah, try right. The eating pepper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I noticed you put a little extra on there. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. So yeah. <laughs> so this is this is how. And it's, this is uh, how this you is, would eat this. Yes. So and that's a portion. So and then, yeah. So you will for it to taste way way better. You will take the onion, take, take the piece, piece of meat, and then go from let there. them. Oh, and rub it and eat it. Good. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna leave this because I want to mm. taste test all of it at once. Because if I start now, mm. I'm not leaving the kitchen. All right. This yeah. is perfect. So yeah. this is suya. That's beef suya. Yes. Perfect. Okay, we're back in the kitchen and yes. we are making chicken bry. Bry. Yes. Bra? Bra. Bra. Yeah. Okay. And this is from which region this, again? This is from South Africa. South Africa. Yeah, okay. So all the southern uh, all the southern region because South Africa is a big country, right? Yeah. They they are all influenced by uh, by uh, by South Africa. Okay. And so every everywhere in the south they eat bry. Okay. So and this is going to have a different spice blend than the soya, the soya that yeah. we just had totally because different, yeah. totally different. Okay. Totally different. Yeah. Okay. So this will uh, we cover it with olive oil uh, for two reasons when you put it on the grill not to stick. Okay. Number one, number two for spices to uh, to stick on the meat. On the meat. Okay. Right. Yeah. Then we'll coat it with the smoked uh, 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 Hungarian uh, paprika. Right. Oh. That gives it a kick. Then now, I will just give it a rub. Give it a rub. Give it a rub. And you use the whole chicken everywhere. Yes, I use the uh, I use the whole chicken. 
After this, now I use my chicken marinating spice. Okay. Right? Secret recipe or can you secret, tell us what's uh, in it? Secret recipe. All right, fair it's, enough. It's uh, three uh, different types of spices. Oh, okay. Right? Back in, uh, in, in South Africa, I think they do uh, six of them and they call that spice six gun. So mm, I didn't want to okay. use guns in Canada, so I kind of removed <laughs> the other three and, uh, and kept the original three. Okay. So with my chicken, I will marinate it, right? So you're giving it a light top. dusting, so yes. it's got the flavor, yeah, yeah. but yeah, not overpowering. Yeah. Oh, so you're getting you, it right you notice this too. little cut, it's, it's so that the spice can enter everywhere. Yeah. You, you'll notice like when you eat chicken, sometimes you bite somewhere and then you don't feel the spice. Yeah, because it's usually just yeah, on yeah, the, uh, the skin. So, yeah, so we will... We will push the spices inside, so you bite it here, you will And you're going to get, get it taste. whether you, the skin's on or off, yes. you're still going to yes. get that spice. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that looks and heavenly. That and that. that, and that. Okay. And then just a rub, just to make sure that uh, everything is uh, it's done properly. Still okay. the same thing. We'll pack this, put it in a cooler, let it stay overnight. Okay. Right? Then straight up, we'll take it uh, in, the, in the morning. People that start in the morning, pre grillers they will take it. Uh, and you put the, the whole thing on the grill yeah, first thing in the morning. Yeah, then you put the, uh, the, the whole thing on the, uh, on the grill, right? It takes 40 to 45 minutes on a low heat. Now, the, the interesting part, which is like one of the tricks, right? Like mm -hmm. you noticed, I cut it up on the uh, Yeah, you have the little the slices. Neck. So yeah. this just helps me to, to be able when to I turn it over, it. Ah. to flip it so that the heat, it can it's be evenly heat cooked. Everywhere. And, yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Right, yeah, so you have to babysit it. You have to be around <laughs> it for 40, for 40 to 45 minutes, not yeah. going anywhere, just making sure that you, you're just playing with you're your You're constantly heat. flipping Cause, it, yeah, making sure it's not flipping burning. Making sure, yeah, exactly. Okay. Because we, it's, it's raw chicken, we don't, we don't parboil it, we don't, mm -hmm. we just raw chicken like this. Right on let the it, grill. Yeah, let and it, this uh, is a version of street food in South Africa yes. also. Yes, yeah. Okay. This is the version of uh, street food in South Africa done the same way. So somebody will come in the morning, start this, at lunchtime people will be lining up, you'll just be cutting it up. Half chicken, quarter chicken. So and this is a uh, one that's already been done. So this now is when it's uh it's already there. This is like Good. ten minutes left, right? It will just to be Oh so that's fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. You can actually see how juicy that's gonna yeah. be as well. Yeah. So everything yeah. all the, the yeah. flavor is yeah. sealed inside yeah. that. Yeah. So we will be uh, playing around with that. So why are you spraying, what is that you're spraying underneath? I'm spraying water underneath because the residues of the spices, the juiciness from the chickens falls on the grill, oh, on the char okay. broiler. So I, I sprinkle that, killing the flame, but bringing the- um, All the flavors all from the, the flavors grill up from into the grill uh, to, the, uh, to the chicken. Oh, man, that's, that's, that's what makes us like so way, way different. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now this would be uh, chicken fry. Now this, with duck meat, we use duck meat to, uh, to make suya. Different uh, spices too, right? So I use only duck meat for suya. Oh, right? so this one is the suya meat. This one this is, is the suya meat. This is the brine. The brine meat. Different okay. uh, taste. I will take this, chop it up, make it the suya style, bring it back to uh, to the grill, use the suya spices, and use the brine spices. Okay, so perfect. With the brine, we will give it when when it's this way. It's almost done, right? That's yep. when we'll go to the sauce that you were. Uh, you were so asking me about uh, earlier okay. on, this is the sauce. We call it uh, a painted chicken. So we will coat it with this. Uh, I'm gonna go in here and look. The, uh, the bry, uh, oh, I smell much. peppers. Like a cayenne almost? No, is that right? Sorry? Do I smell cayenne or is that paprika? Yeah, I'm so there's, uh, there's, there's cayenne, there's, uh, there's paprika, and there's uh, uh, the Portuguese periberi. Okay. Right? And there's what they call Mexican chili. Oh yeah, yeah. So spicy? Am I gonna cry? Uh, not too too spicy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. We reduce that. Yeah, like so. In every food that I make, I try to reduce the the spiciness so that everybody can. Uh, yeah, everybody can enjoy. Can enjoy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but yeah. if you ever want more spice, you can. Yeah, then you can. Uh, you can do okay, that. Yeah, yeah. So it's on the grill like this. So now this is the interesting part because this is this is the finishing part, right? Very 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 important, right? Mop it just to make sure that uh, yeah. the spices go through. Then we'll flip it, it over, flip. get it in the cracks, get it in the cracks, flip this side, get it in the cracks. Just a little bit because it's already done. If you let it wrong on the grill, it's gonna be black. It's gonna burn. Yeah, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. So when when it's at this point, it's pretty much done. It's just uh, to make sure that we're giving that uh, finish. So when it's like this, we will uh, we'll put it on the uh, on the plate. And that's a full chicken. Now that's this is. So, a full but you chicken. can also get half orders, you can, and quarter yeah, you orders. Can, yeah, you don't you have can, to eat uh, the whole yes. thing yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I could probably eat that whole yeah. thing myself. <laughs> but and then how do you and we will finish this with uh, with the peppers, right? Just to give it uh, just to give it a color, and uh, and they blend well with the chicken. Okay. So yeah, yeah your spice blend and your pepper. Yeah, yeah. So it's just. 
And is it always orange pepper, or do you just whatever's in uh, season? Uh, or? Orange, red, or yellow. Okay. Like, yeah, those. those never, like, never yeah. a green because not, not a green. Work. It's a different ball game. Yeah, okay. yeah. The green one is not. Uh, it's not. A, it's not sweet. Mm, so the chicken peri okay. sauce is uh, it's uh, sweet and sour. Yeah. So, so with the sweet and the pepper kind of blends exactly. together. Yeah, yeah, oh, this yeah, is exciting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going yeah. in for this one. Let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah. that is just heavenly. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Kay, now we're moving on to an African sausage. Sausage, yes. Okay, and yeah. what is this called again? It's called uh, boavors. Bo boavors. Yeah, so okay. uh, the word boar from the Dutch people, the Dutch farmers in South Africa, okay. and the wars from like, it looks like a worm, right? Okay. So boavors, yeah. This is a lamb casing. Okay. Beef inside is a beef sausage. A beef sausage, it's okay. It's a beef sausage, yeah. So inside it's, it's just strong beef, right? Mm -hmm. Like the way sausage will be made, but the spices that we use, are spices that come from South Africa. Okay. So we have uh, one of uh, the butchers here in Ottawa that does that for us. We give him the spice and uh, he finishes this oh, okay. uh, for us. So he does an amazing job. Oh, so you basically give him the recipe yeah, and, yeah, and then he some of the that. ingredients exactly. and say, put this together yeah, for yeah. us. And how long does this cook for? This cooks like uh, 15 minutes. Now yeah, that yeah. obviously is not a portion, or is it? This no. is a portion. That's one portion. Yeah, so if I come in and I order African sausage, I'm getting this all this? This is what we get, yeah. All this. Are you serious? All this. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah, trust and me. And then, wow, that's fantastic. It looks, it looks big, but uh, it's so tasty that you want to. By the time here, well, so far yeah. everything else looks yeah. like it's going to yeah. be a, yeah. quite the so, meal. So it's just pretty much the same, the same concept. Put it on the grill. As we already know, I already know when when it starts to uh, water starts to form on top. I know that's time to. Uh, oh yeah, you can actually see yeah, it. Yeah, so once to get it starts uh, to form shiny. like that, so it's like, oh, turn me, turn me, turn me. I'm, I'm already ready on the other side. So you'll flip it and then we'll play, we'll play around like that. Okay. Yeah, that just comes with uh, with experience, right? So like, I know when to turn it. I know when when not to turn it. Okay. And I know if I turn it two, three times, I turn it actually like four to uh, to five times. The fifth time now, you won't see the water forming. Now you're and that's how you know it's starting to, know it's, yeah. it's, it's done. Yeah. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then, wow. And then this is served just like that. So this is this is this is served just like this, but it's it's so funny because with this you can eat it with uh, they eat it with the uh, back uh, home with something called uh, pap, right? So it's like a cornmeal, like you, you oh, boil okay. water and then you take corn, stir it until it cooks. They eat it with that and vegetables on the side. Oh. Or something called uh, chakalaka, which is like a bean salad, which uh, Chef Palesa is, is, is amazing. Uh, okay, so you that. guys do yeah. the bean salad here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then so here. you can order with yeah, that you can, side uh, of... you can order it uh, like this. You can eat it with oh, okay. rice, you can eat it with bread, a anything, anything. It's uh, but. Normally, that's uh, that's how it's uh, eating. Okay, and this is again another form of street food. So that's served form on a uh, whatever food. takeout yeah, yeah. you can walk and yeah. eat if you yeah. need it. So now the funny part is with this, there's no party at home or anywhere that you will go to in the southern part and you don't find this. So everybody any, eats this. Any gathering without this is not a gathering. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Huh. So it's it's one of the amazing. Forget the chicken, forget the beef, forget everything. If so every time we go to a party at your house, we're oh, having yes. that? Oh, yes. Oh, good. Trust All right. So when's me. the next party? <laughs> good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. I have a lot of uh, outdoor events actually coming up uh, yep. this summer. I have like at least four to five. Okay. Just, if not six. And you can get these in events. like big trays, like a party tray as well, right? Yes. You don't have to yeah, do yeah. individual. Yeah, yeah. So we if can, you yeah. are we having a party. Yeah, it's like with this, we'll just, we'll just chop it up in uh, like uh, cylindrical, you know? In like little pieces. Okay. Yeah, and then put it in there. Uh, throw in uh, chakalaka in there, and then uh, we'll and then away, away you go yeah. from there. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. And then you're gonna do the water trick underneath yeah. this and as well. The water trick, yeah. So again, it takes all that yes. flavor from yeah. the bottom and yeah. brings it all up yeah. into the meat. Yeah. yeah. That looks absolutely yummy. Yeah. So that's that's that with uh, with uh, Vora. So we let it there. We let it cook. We let it cook. Uh, once it's done, then uh, we we'll plate it too. Like the, uh, the normal. And then it's finished. Which yeah. I'm excited to see that plating yeah. and how that looks. Yeah. 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 So what I yeah. love is is the menu is very. Um, I don't want to say simplistic, but it's very simple. Yes. Right. Everything on it is so simple, but yet so delicious. Yeah. Which you're not trying to make some sort of complex, weird flavor match. Uh, no. It's literally this is the food, street mm -hmm. food. It's delicious. Yeah. Eat it. Yeah, yeah. So. So the trick is, uh, it's on the spices. Yeah. Yeah. How 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 they blend, and and we're in Canada. Uh, time is money on this part of the world. Yeah. Where we come from, time, time stalls. Time doesn't okay. move in Africa. So things yeah, move a little quicker yeah, here, yeah, over yeah. there. So, yeah. yeah. We had to accommodate 
all those. Somebody comes for lunch, they, they don't have one hour to wait. Yes. They have 10, 15 minutes, they want their yeah, food. Yeah, so you've got it down to, to a science on how to get it in, get it out fast, exactly. but still have the quality, exactly. the flavor. Yes. So we'll just leave it here for a while. Okay. Just for it to, uh, to kind of cook. Uh, oh, look at how dark that is. That yeah. is amazing. And this, oh, I, again, I can smell, I'm all about the smell. Yeah, okay. If I can perfect. smell it, we yeah, know yeah. it's going to taste yeah, delicious yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So I love how that go, like golden yeah, brown so on is, that. Yes. Eh? Like just, this is the uh, the finished product, yeah. Good. Okay, okay. and then you're going to bring that over, cut it into pieces? Yeah, bring it this over. So how normally we'll serve it, so bring it over like this, right? Okay. Then, uh, then put uh, a gravy, chef is doing that. Give me that please quick. Oh, there's a gravy that goes yeah. on? Oh, it goes with the in, gravy. Okay, and then you just dip in the in. gravy. Yeah, just dip the. Uh, no, is that gravy. a spicy gravy? Is no, 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 okay. no, normal, normal, not spicy. Then so may I ask, we, what's in the gravy? So in the gravy is uh, the uh, uh, two different cubes that are secret uh, cubes spices. Okay. Uh, onions, tomatoes, uh, 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 cooked. And that's pretty much it. It's okay, it looks like there's maybe a little olive oil or yes, something in there yes, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We, use, uh, we use olive oil in most of the things. Yeah. That, um, that we, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I can't wait. That looks yeah. amazing. Like, yeah. Oh, I just yeah. want to bite into it right Trust now. Me, yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited. I cannot wait to get to the, uh, the sampling yes. and get a little bit of everything that's going on here. Quilly, yes. this is my favorite part of all of this is the sampling. Now we're gonna start with the African sausage. Now, yes. how do I eat this? Uh, well, you just eat it, dip it in the, uh, in the gravy a bit, yes. And then give it a go. And, and then, then give it a go and... Uh, and this is served like if I'm on the street, let's talk about again, how's that? Yeah, it will be served like this. Uh, they'll serve it with uh, with pap, which is, uh, oh which is like a, a cornmeal. Uh, we can eat it with bread. You can eat it with like uh, any, any, any starch, mm -hmm. rice, whatever, yeah, yeah. But, uh, that's, oh my, uh, it's so good. Yeah, thank you. And it's not like I expected it to be a little dry because you cooked it for it, but it's not. Okay. It's like a nice tender. Well, that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then we have the suya. Yes. This was the beef that you'd made um, earlier. Video and then we this. have um, a the goat. goat. Yeah. Now, this isn't really spicy. This is... No, this no. is this is Canadianized. Okay, so you can have different say. spice levels. But yes. you did bring me a little of the spicy one. So. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. before I get into that, let's. what yeah. is this? This is uh, like fresh cut potatoes, uh, uh, fries. We uh, we use like a, a spice uh, uh, on uh -huh. top, yeah, uh, which is like a capana capana spice. Like a special yeah, blend yeah. that you just shake it into yeah, there. Yeah, we and just it's shake like, it in there. Yeah, these are really. Yeah, so we oh buy from the. Uh, that is good and very tender time, yeah. too. So, I think we're gonna wrap that up, and I'm gonna keep eating more of this. No um, my name is uh, Steve Morrow, and you're watching more, please. So tune in next week. We'll check out local restaurants in the Ottawa area. Now, this one you said is really spicy. That's really spicy. Am I gonna like cry? No, I, I uh, trust you. I like spice and yeah. oh, this is amazing. And it's you. not like, I can get hotter though if I want, right? Oh, like, so if, if I want a really, yeah, really hot. Yeah, as hot as you can, yeah. yeah. Oh, it, like you feel the heat coming yeah. up. But, oh, this is yeah. good. Yeah. I was gonna creep in, but. Uh, let's go in some of the chicken amazing. too. We're gonna yeah. try some of that. That's so. the chicken bread, yes. Yeah, let's give that a go yeah. in here. Yeah. Oh. yeah, there's a Portuguese, uh, Portuguese mm, spice on that, yeah, this is, Amazing. Yeah. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media. 